Yo, what's up guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to shoot for you guys a Costco grocery haul. Now currently the contents of my refrigerator contain a couple of eggs, some almond milk, and a little bit of tilapia that's quickly running low. So it's pretty obvious that I need to make a quick run to Costco and I thought I'd just bring you guys along with me. Now I usually go to Costco anywhere from once to twice a month, so these hauls will actually last me a pretty good amount of time and I don't end up spending much over $100 each time. So I just thought it might be helpful to some of you college students out there who are broke AF like me, uh, just to give you guys a couple of ideas of what you can buy while at Costco while still saving a ton of money. So enough of me chit chat and let's go ahead and head to the store. Okay guys, finally made it into Costco. Excuse the crazy hair, it is insanely windy outside. Um, but I have to ask, everyone is always raving about Target, but nobody shows Costco love. Costco literally has everything. I would choose to go to Costco any day over Target. First stop, gotta stop by the carbs, pick me up some of this delightful Sara Lee whole wheat bread, 45 calories for one sir or for one slice, I believe. So this is what I like to go for when I'm dieting. So check out the macros. For two slices, you get one gram of fat, 18 grams of carbs, and six grams of protein. Yo, fresh baked goods. It smells so good. Next stop, some nice fresh tilapia. Low in fat, high in protein, always a good thing to go for. So Costco was actually unexpectedly busy this day and people kept looking at me weird because I was holding the camera and talking to myself. But anyways, next item, sweet potatoes. I really just love boiling these up and making me some good old mashed sweet taters. Next item, some avocados. Gotta have some healthy fats in there. I usually just eat about half at a time and I really don't even have these every day, so they last me a good while. Now I know everyone's Costco is a little bit different, but if you have this chopped sweet kale salad, it is so freaking good, the macros are good, just throw some grilled chicken on top of there, some avocado, and you've got yourself a solid meal. This right here is my guilty pleasure. It's basically like macro-friendly pizza. The jalapeno and cheese flavor is my absolute favorite, so if you guys have this focaccia bread at your Costco, you have to try it. All right, into the dairy room. I actually don't consume cow's milk at all anymore. If anything, I go for almond milk, but I'm actually in here to pick up some eggs. I go for the five dozen eggs just because it's the cheapest and it lasts me a long time. So this pre-frozen thin sliced chicken breast is literally the most convenient thing ever. Just put it in your fridge, defrost it, and cook them right up. So I just discovered these today and I normally don't gravitate towards things like this, but I've been craving some french fries recently and this seemed pretty macro friendly, so I'm pretty excited to try these out. So Greek yogurt is pretty much the only form of cow's milk that I still consume on a regular basis. I really love these light and fit Greek yogurts. It helps a lot with my portion control. They taste great and they are packed with protein. Time for some micronutrients. I really love this Normandy style vegetable blend from Costco. They've got broccoli, cauliflower, carrots all mixed up in there. Super convenient. I just throw it on my stovetop, cook them a little bit, and then toss them in with my meal. 
For the times that I'm feeling hungry, I like to reach for a sparkling zero calorie beverage. These ones are my favorite because they taste great and the carbonation just kind of takes away that hunger pain. So I was running low on coffee and we all know that that is a dire emergency, so I went ahead and picked up some more. This will typically last me a couple of months. Next up, some super healthy Nutella and Go Sticks. Ah, just kidding. Okay, but for reals though, I'm picking up some creamy Skippy peanut butter. Totally out of peanut butter and I have been craving some PB&Js recently. And of course, the product everyone knows and loves, Kodiak Power Cakes. These are so, so yummy. Guys, do you remember these? I, f I freaking used to eat like half the bag in one sitting. And for six pieces, there's 35 grams of carbs and 27 grams of sugar. I wish I could just relive the good old days when I didn't care about carbs and sugar. Okay, on to the meathead section of the store. I'm here to pick up some Premier Protein. They have this brand new flavor, Bananas and Cream. And honestly guys, I don't always pick up protein. Uh, this is more of a luxury product, but they were on sale, so I had to. Okay guys, this is the final damage. We've got sweet potato bread, peanut butter, coffee, um, these french fries. Frozen vegetables, chicken breast, tilapia, eggs, Greek yogurt, Kodiak cakes, and my focaccia bread, which is so delicious. Some salad, and that's basically it, just keeping it simple. Okay, but real talk though, the worst thing about shopping at Costco is lugging all the groceries back into your car, driving it back to your house, and in my case, I have to lug it up a full case of stairs and then, and only then, can I put it in my refrigerator. Anyways guys, I hope this helped some of you college students out, give you a bit of ideas on what you can buy here at Costco. And I'm not gonna lie, I spent a little more than I usually do when I go to Costco today, just cause I had to buy the stuff like peanut butter, Kodiak cakes, those things take me months to get through guys. So some of these things that I bought today are literally going to be with me for months until I finish them. So that's just what I do to save a little bit of money, getting Costco membership, shopping at Costco, buying things in bulk, it really, really does help guys. Even if you don't eat all the stuff right away, you can always freeze it and defrost it and eat it later. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you like my content. Please like my videos if you like the video and comment down below if you have any suggestions or just want to have an interaction. So have a great day and I'll see you guys in my next video.